So Polygon had an article. Um, it was on. It looks like it came out the first. Mm-hmm. Um, that was talking about Tumble Seed, which I haven't had a chance to play yet. Um, but specifically talking about how they really utilized HD Rumble. Um, probably the best third party um, developer to embrace that technology. I'd even add. Uh, I'd even add when I first heard about Tumble Seed that that was the first time I heard about HD Rumble. Like it was that closely associated with it. You must have not been paying attention. To I probably wasn't. Stuff the not, only other thing I heard about but, HD Rumble is you, that weird uh, Japanese video you told me about that well, I won't go into right now. Oh man, that was. Uh, it it gets featured in one two switch there's a game where you um you 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 pretend like you have a box that has marbles in it and you tilt the box back and forth and you have to count how many marbles are in it oh yeah one two switch is a thing i forgot about that yeah my kids love it's like their favorite game they love playing that game so i play it a lot with them but that that is i mean like surprisingly like you can really feel that subtle like Oh, there's three marbles that just clicked against each other when I when I did that, and like like you can really feel it, um, which is cool. So for all the people who didn't know, HC Rumble is different than just a PS4's Rumble. Like it is literally the hardware component of it is something different. It's I forget what it's called, but it, it works differently than an Xbox One or a PS4 controller, where those are basically motors, and they all spin themselves up to vibrate really hard, spin themselves low to vibrate low. This is much more um, instantaneous, so they can go from nothing to full in a very short amount of time, um, and they can control it across a, a wider spectrum than most of the other controllers can which is cool. And I guess it's the same technology that is in Oculus's touch controls. Oh, cool. Um, so they're using the same thing. I didn't realize Nintendo uh, would share like that or, or, well, I don't, I think Nintendo is sourcing it from somebody else. Yeah, I don't think I mean. it's, yeah, sorry. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, that all got me thinking, um, I'm glad that somebody is using that and that it's, that it's working, but it, it just made me think about, um, all of the various, I don't, I hate to call them gimmicks because sometimes they are and sometimes they are, but, um, it made me think about like the rumble pack for the Nintendo 64. It made me think about PlayStation move. It made me think about the connect, um, and all of these different, um, peripherals and, and different forms of controls that we've seen over, you know, the past, um, four or so decades of gaming. Is it five now? I forget. For us, it looks for right. us about three, <laughs> three. Yeah, that's right. I am. I am. I mean, three decade, decade, decade of gaming. Yeah, yeah. So, but like, just thinking, like, even back to like the light gun and the power glove and like all of these it these so things. <laughs> I mean, like, okay, Lucas. They're like, like uh, of of that list, you know. um like the rumble pack obviously was successful because that was something we saw in every single controller yeah. since was, then. That was like a must buy at launch, you know, it was like the first of its kind. God, right. I was so excited. I don't, <laughs> sound so dumb at the time. I had some really fond memories of 16 bit fishing games. <laughs> and one of the, <laughs> one of the things that they, they pitched the rumble pack with, <laughs> Bassmasters Pro or fishing games that you'd be That's able to awesome. you'd be able to feel when the fish is on the hook and you reel it in and like I was like oh hell yeah like let's, That's let's awesome. bust out Bassmasters one more time I never played a fishing game on that other than I think I, I think Link fished at one point in Ocarina maybe <laughs> no, I think that was I pre- actually remember Rumble. I owned a Logitech Rumble mouse. So okay. it was a mouse that had a rumble engine in it so that for PC gaming you could <laughs> it was like the sad like I'm a PC gamer but I want rumble too like why <laughs> none of my things do that none of my things are shaking on my my desk but so yeah uh, so if I I feel like you're close to finishing your your thought like what are you what are you thinking here with these Well no I'm just it, I think it's I think it's interesting to look back and see so like motion controls like so rumble worked we've mm-hmm. kept rumble Motion controls. We are on. You know what? I don't even know what go this back? is. Like thanks. I don't thanks, know. VR. Like, thanks, like, Switch. Like, 
are motion controls ever going to land? Are you going to buy just... arms? No. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Mr. I'm Mr. not. I Mr. just, I'm not. Mr. Switch says no to arms because it's not punch out. Am I right, Cole? You are dead right. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. So first of all, punch out would have been a lot cooler just for the fact that yeah. it's punch out and that automatically gets you some bonus points. Like, Actually, I would probably buy it if it was Punch Out, just because it's a new Punch Out game, and I need to see what that's like from Nintendo. Same same mechanics and everything, and you'd still buy it. Yeah, I don't care. No. I mean, yeah. just it's you Punch Out. Like, did no, you get that like on the, the Wii? Same mechanics as Arms is what I mean. Oh, did I get it on the Wii? No, I was asking Cole if he got it on the Wii, but he's saying if uh, if no, it had I the same mecha- I, I if Punch Out had the same mechanics that Arms has, which no, no, I want to, I want to put, I want a Punch Out game. I I'm think my checking. thing. My thing with ARMS is that it's just the boxing mini game from Wii Sports. Like, yeah, Oh, shit, yeah. you're right. That's all it is. Mm. It's just that, but they put characters to it and, like, added a little bit of difference to it. But, like... An Inspector Gadget mecha- ARMS. Yeah, but the mechanic doesn't feel any different. Like, it still seems like you're, you're doing the same uh, stupid st- stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, there's supposed to be combos and stuff like that. I'll give it that. Like, the, the Wii Sports Resorts version characters. was just... Oh well, well, I'm sure we will talk about arms, but as far as but, but like I just like motion control stuff. Like Wii Sports is the one that just really sticks with me because I played it so much. And it sold 80 million consoles. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that, like that it was it was itself. phenomenal. It was so great. But then nothing came after, it, and no third party developer was like, "Oh, we get this. We can totally do this right." Like nobody truly got what they were supposed to do with it and it was never quite right and i don't know if that was down to nintendo like doing some shenanigans with development and just like they knew the hardware better so they were doing things that other people couldn't pull off or people just didn't care and didn't want to develop for one system when they could develop for all three well i think Um, an interesting example of that is the fact that the playstation move refined that shit like by all accounts mm -hmm. like that thing is what motion yeah. controls should have been. Yet by the time it hit the stage, no one gave a shit. Like that no. stuff was. Maybe it was. Ju- I mean, it was just. I mean, it was just a fad. It was a really successful fad, and that's been the weirdest part of the Switch uh, promotional materials is their reliance on some of the motion controls against. Like I get motion controls for VR. Like that actually is the next evolution of that, and has an application and. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I didn't buy a Rift because the con- the controller wasn't ready. But I'd heard good things about the Oculus Touch controller, and right. that hopefully games can take advantage of that. But like, well, and speaking also, of move, isn't I was gonna say I'm also wary PS- be- P- because motion controls have been successful outside of Wii Sports. Yeah, isn't PSVR using PlayStation Move? Yes, as like yeah. its yeah. its motion controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know what it's going to take, but it's just weird that it, it hasn't, it hasn't got hold yet. Mm-hmm. And the, and the worst of these stories is the Connect. Uh, so, you know, the Connect has been around. The, the thing that kills me about the Connect is that if you look at purely from a hardware point of view, it's, it's an extremely awesome piece of technology that Microsoft mm-hmm. made. And I feel like that happens with Microsoft a lot is that they make something that in theory is really cool and they don't know how to actually make things cool. Like Microsoft has this ability to touch things and make them about as uncool as they can possibly be. <laughs> can and I don't know why that songs, is. Ryan. Oh my god! <laughs> ah, Three hundred little... songs. That's a good one. You haven't that seen... is a good one. You haven't seen Guardians two yet. You yeah, won't get it. But that's so amazing. Good. Um, but so so the Connect was this great pe- like, and people have done some super cool things with it. They just weren't Microsoft, and they weren't video game related. Like people have used it in like <laughs> hardware projects and robots and like well, all set, kinds of things. I lo- oh yeah, I mean all the all the like people getting into the the SDK there and doing weird shit that wasn't video games was also cool. Like like surgeries, like try yeah, doctors try stuff with it. But then I yeah. man going back to like concept sessions at harmonics and, and tr- seeing them trying to like we're gonna we're gonna lean on the connect here. We're gonna like Dance Central was fun, but like mm-hmm. all that Fantasia shit and just like them trying to do something with it, like like I sometimes I get like 
when Nintendo makes a console and it has a gimmick, I get why at this point, why third parties are going to be kind of gun shy to like, yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, sure. You're going to release your first party stuff and have an awesome game and show people to do it, but it's going to be three years before we can get a game to market with this. And will will people give a shit at that point? And the week kind of shows them that no, they won't like, they just want Wii sports. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So has there been anything else? Like, I mean, I, what I like about the Rumble Pack story in this is that the Rumble Pack was an accessory at one point. It was an extra thing yeah. you bought that you strapped yeah. into that gigantic controller. <laughs> but can you imagine... It totally it? ruined the balance of the controller because it was <laughs> so heavy. But, like, can you imagine having Worse a modern it. controller without that force feedback at this point? Like, it, it would feel weird no. to me. Yeah, no, those, yeah, those you need awesome something. Six axis controllers that came off for the <laughs> PS3. <laughs> well, then you can go, you can go as two steps too far, and uh, somebody needs to be. But re- like, an, someone needs to remake Layer. Is all I'm saying. Because another that, one that comes to my mind is the touchpad on a PS4 controller. Yeah. Like, yeah, Sony cool. is literally the only one that uses it for anything other than a giant freaking. Well, how about the the touchpad on the back of the Vita? Like. There's something there. Oh, this, I this forgot about creepy, that. But it was hard, hard to use. I forgot about that. Yeah, but but the you know the one that uh, that that stuck in my mind when I was thinking about it is is the gun, like the the light gun for the mm-hmm. NES, and then uh, oh, the I really like for House I of the really Dead one and two, and the scope, three and the Super four. Nintendo scope, the, the Super Scope. scope. Super oh, Scope was sh- crazy. Never one of those. Here, kids, never you never one did. One I had no. a friend who had a one. Bazooka. And he had like the robot game. Like you had to like destroy the Gundams with it. Who can yeah. name that oh, game? Oh man, I that can't. was so good. Is it Super that Scope Six? Fun. Is that in what? Is it part of no. that game? Uh, uh, yeah, keep going. I'm gonna find okay. the game. Uh, I, we're gonna we're gonna release this accessory with a mini game collection. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like like, but the the gun idea like lived in the arcades for forever like mm-hmm. it, it the, lots of great live it, it lived before and after <laughs> i feel like yeah exactly yeah. and it's weird though that it's never made it it's never made it back like like That's we've never TV technology changed you think of the latency but i mean like why not there? do like why isn't there like a connect based or a move based version of that same kind of thing like like the technology exists that we could tell, like, you're pointing this thing in this direction. Well, yeah, they did that with, like, direction. Duck Hunt, didn't they, on the Wii? Well, yeah, I mean, Killzone even had, like, you could you could play that with the the, yeah. uh, the PlayStation Move. Um, I was, like, you were playing it with motion controls? Uh-huh, like, <laughs> trying to, like, you hold two wands like you're holding a gun and... Oh, that sounds awful. Yeah, I mean, that's that's where it breaks. <laughs> or, that's where it breaks for people. Like, I don't... Yeah. Like, the PlayStation Move is much has much higher fidelity than the Wii, but I also am holding this giant, shiny, glowing ice cream cone thing that looks stupid. <laughs> like, there's a little bit of that to it, too. But uh, did anything else, like any of these gimmicks... Uh, for lack of a better term, succeed besides the rumble pack. I mean, obviously the power glove, but I mean, <laughs> if you if you want to go, if you want to be, uh, I don't know if Emotion you would controls consider it in the same league. Well, what were you gonna no, say? Don't let me distract. I was you. gonna say, I was gonna say, the sixty four also was the first time that, and maybe not the first time, but it's the first time I can remember oh. a controller having a joystick on it. As I say, analog, yeah, yeah analog, analog controller. That's totally fair. Nintendo that was weird. Was innovated a lot. It was. It was. I mean, everything about that controller was weird. Yeah. But or that's. I would say. But, I, I would say the second analog stick is even a bigger. Yeah. Like, I mean, so that would you give that credit be to a Sony? DualShock two. DualShock? Yeah, DualShock, DualShock two. two. Did that? Yeah. yeah, that came out before. Or did the, yeah, did that come out before the came du- out, the DualShock Duke? came out before the Duke. The Duke. Because the dual shot came out in PS One era, right? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I mean, flash guns so are as weird. soon as they had an anal- It has anal- different anal- applications, sticks, but uh, the only other one I can think of um, is the network adapter for the PlayStation Two. Yeah, which that, that was, was a probably good one. more. That was probably more I mean, like a, that on a the general t- march of progress. That like, of course, these things were. But I'm already playing online PC games at that point. Is that? I mean, well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, but for a home console, sure. for people who didn't sure. have PC, it was. I, I remember people. And you had to go out and, and like. Stuff. I think I plunked down like a hundred dollars for like 
SOCOM that came with the network adapter and like did you have if to, you wanted to play a hard uh, drive with it as well? No, that was only, you only needed the hard drive if you were going to play um, Final Fantasy eleven. Yeah, yeah, you had to have the hard drive. You could buy right. like the hard drive that was preloaded with the game on it that you had to slap in there. Yeah. So if I, that was a different time. If I could sum this up though <laughs> in a positive way. Um, the S- Nintendo Switch to also you're on a roll. All of our live shows open with you in a Nintendo related topic. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Nintendo Switch is the most subtly gimmick gimmicky console ever, and people seem to love it. Like they finally kind of box everything together. The fact that they can slide in motion controls and their handheld stuff and um so it, it it's pretty impressive that it doesn't come across as a gimmick it's so think about it's this. full of gimmicks but it doesn't come across as a gimmick and i mean that as a think compliment about and not an and i like saying the word gimmick because of wrestling so we were just point cole is just reminding me and pointing out that a bunch of these gimmicks got wrapped up with a bunch of mini games. Yeah. And that's how they sold the console. Yeah. They did not sell the Switch that way. Yet. The Switch did not get wrapped up. Well, even if it by Christmas it does, you can uh-huh. say, oh, well, you can get a bunch of mini games, or you can play Breath of the Wild, which is just a, a really game. good video game. Like a really good video mm-hmm. game. I still, I, I'm still feeling burned. I, that's where I'm coming from. Feel, still feeling burned for my Wii U purchase. I don't know oh, that's Cole, your fault. Cole, I don't, well, Cole, I don't know if Cole's in this boat with me or not. But yeah, I didn't play a whole lot of it, but I got a hundred bucks out of it before the <laughs> Switch came out, so I, ha- I have fond memories of it. Yeah, but I feel like Mario Odyssey is the full release of the Nintendo Switch, and we will, I will judge it from that point on. Although. Its reception at this point has been fucking ridiculous, so I might you have to shut what? up before then. But you know, like I still feel like we're in the early access period of the Switch, and yes. and I and I do I made the you know the snarky comment that Zelda is a Wii U game. It is a Wii U game. That that game was in development before the Switch, so and a, and I love that game. But this hinging the Switch on Zelda is weird to me and I, I you have to judge the switch in 2018 like i'm just being still just being conscious ca- oh, cautious that's, until no. that's that's so lame of you you're being so lame i just i mean tell me when into, that's uh, tell me no, in because july you bought three zelda, games last friday i might yeah. zelda for the switch is outselling switches themselves people are buying that game so much and specifically for the switch not for the switch in the wii u like <sighs> You can't you can't discount that there is a Zelda game on a Nintendo console right out of the gate. Like that's a huge deal that Nintendo was willing to hold that thing back and not just release it for the Wii U. Like we could be ta- I don't I don't even think we could be talking about Zelda the same way as we have been. There's not as many people would be playing re- it. Exactly. Like it would not that's be fair. the same game. I just I guess I I just had this fear that the mini game collections are coming in 2018. Like I just, I, it's possible. I mean, we've seen it. It's not. It's not like Nintendo is unique and having an extremely strong year one, and then year two they don't know what to do and they're just falling off a cliff. But I hope that you know that that isn't going to be the case for them. Are you but, thinking? Yeah. Are you thinking that they're they're going to have so many mini game collections come out because of its popularity? I, Oh, I just I don't know what Nintendo follows up a year with a major Zelda and a major Mario release. I don't know. I don't know what they do next year. Well, um, then I mean, but yeah, I mean, and they have Splatoon two, and I mean they have re-release. I mean we're gonna get, we're gonna get Smash Brothers next year, but it's gonna be a half a point five version of the Wii U, and then what? Like I just yeah, we can get one or t- a one or two year good run out of this. But what's gonna take us take us through? I'm just well. We'll get it. We'll get an awesome Mario yeah. RPG game. You know, we'll get, we'll get I mean Mario, Mario. Mario and Luigi. It needs yeah. to make a well, make a they console. Can, they combine development team, so yeah, that's possible. I mean, hey, new F Zero game is coming in 2018. Fuck yeah, that would be awesome.